Give uh, give NIU a lot of credit, man. I thought it was a uh, it was a war to score for us all night. Anytime you hold a team to sixty two points, man, I would say, especially at home, you're likely to win. Um, they guarded us well, and they were physical. Um, and uh, I thought they really, uh, you know, rushed us around the rim. Their size, their athleticism, they were physical on the ball and drives. Created a lot of turnovers. I think we had fourteen turnovers, which is should be one of our higher turnover games that we've had. And then they, they, they killed us on the glass, right? They out-rebounded us. They had 15 offensive rebounds for 19 points. Our first shot defense I thought was pretty elite. I thought we did a good job overall in Coit. And Coit had 21, but he took 19 shots. Uh, it's a lot of shots. Zarek Nutter had 22 points on 22 shots, which is very inefficient as well. Um, just got to be better on that second shot defense, and then we got to be able to score the ball. Um, got off to a great start, hitting several threes, and I thought we had some good looks there at the end of the first half, and you live with it. But, again, basketball sometimes doesn't work out your way, man, but I did love the effort of our guys tonight. Uh, what kind of a play did you have set up there at the end? They ended up getting the ball, yeah. but uh, yeah. what were you trying to have? So I wish – they were supposed to foul. I heard him yell, telling them to foul. That's why we were going to get the ball past half court and call a timeout real quick before they could foul. You know, because most teams foul up three. Uh, anytime between three and 11 seconds, the, the numbers would show that you should foul, right? Uh, they didn't. And I wish I would have just let – we sh just shoot that thing. Um, but they, you could hear, hear their coaches were saying to foul them. Um, so we called timeout. Supposed to get the, the ball to the other side, the sideline out of bounds play that we have. Got deflected. We just passed, got deflected on the ball. Guy did a good job. I think the Har Garvin kid got a – or Harvin kid got a piece of it. And then it went short, obviously. It was supposed to be for a three on the weak side. So, um, you beat first place Akron here. You win at Kent State. Um, just when it looks like you're gathering ahead of steam, mm -hmm. you're not. And it's been that way all year. How frustrating is it for you and the team that you just can't establish any form of consistency? Yeah, listen, we, we got a young team, man. <laughs> the, the Mac is muddy. Every team's the same. I mean, these dudes were picked top, I think, third in the league preseason. I mean, they're talented. I told our guys not to look at the record. They beat DePaul. They beat App State, who's first in the Sun Belt. They've beaten some good teams now. I mean, they're talented. They got a first-team All-League guy in David Coit. They got probably a second-team All-League guy in Zarek Nutter. Now, Amos is a monster. I mean, like, they had they got three dudes. Um, you know, I, so I just told our guys, listen, they, our, our effort was good. I thought our effort was good. We got to block out better. We got to embrace that physicality piece. And if we take care of the ball a little bit better, even if we have an off-shooting night, listen, we probably win. But, again, you look at them at the end of the day, they had 61 field goal attempts. We had 54. We lose a what? A, a three-point game? And there it is right there, right? The, the, it's, the team that gets the most field goal attempts is likely going to win. And, again, we got our butts kicked on the glass tonight. Coach, Anderson Marambo has been your leading scorer all season tonight, held without a field goal on just three points. How yep. tough is it to adjust when you, know, you can guard your leading scorer so well? Yeah, and, and Darwishi has a slow, slower night too for him, you know. like, um, And, again, we believe in those two guys. They'll be much better moving forward. Um, but he had some good looks. Got to finish some of them, right? Um, but, again, we're going to play through Andy. We're going to play through Darwishi a lot, just like we always have. Um, believe in those guys just as more – just as much now as I did before the game. Um, you know, again, we need those guys that we're going to lean on them. They're our experienced guys. They played the most college basketball, so we're going to lean on them. And Coach, tonight, uh, Millette Hall is probably the loudest it's been all season. What can you say about the atmosphere in the building tonight? Yeah, man, I, I want to give a shout-out to our students first and foremost. Like, I, I, they, had a, they had the little whiteout, the T-shirts going on down there on the baseline, which I thought was awesome, the band, the cheer. J-Term's long here. You know, that's the first time we've had our students back um, shoot, since really probably late November. It's the last time I think we had a, had a home game with students. Um, so it was nice, man. It was v very much appreciated. We need to continue that moving forward as well. Now, we've got to get the results that we want as well, so we understand that. But, again, they'll, they'll come if we continue to have that energy in the building. Mentioned earlier on, you said it felt like a war for you guys to score. What do you think yeah. NIU did defensively that made it so hard for your bigs to get down the paint? Just physical. I thought they were really physical. And again, officials let it be physical both ways, which I got no problem. We got to, you got to adjust to it, and uh, you know. It, but we we got to finish better around the rim. We got to get can't get bumped off our line so easily on drives. Um, you know, I probably got to teach man to man defense a little bit different, you know. Then you know, this league, man, they just let guys just chuck them on drives, man. Um, 
but we we got to we got to hold that line better. We got to adjust a little bit. And uh, you know, I thought they were just physical and athletic, really athletic. Man, they're one of the more athletic teams in our league and one of the bigger teams. And with Bryce picking up four fouls and yeah. his usage was obviously limited. What did that change for you guys defensively in the second half? Yeah, it changed just offensively, too. We play a lot through Bryce. Bryce is kind of our trigger man in a lot of ways. Um, we play him at the four. He'll play the three as well. But he's a guy you can play all over the floor. He's like almost a second point guard on the floor, even though he's 6'5". Um, it's nice having him out there. I know that. He makes a big difference for us. He makes the game easy for others. I don't know how many points he finished with. I know he banged in a couple threes early. He had eight points, five assists. Right? Like, that's what he does. He's that stat sheet stuffer. Um, he's our glue guy in a lot of ways. And and uh, we need him on the floor. Obviously, we got to keep him out of foul trouble. Just to look ahead a little bit, you got Georgia State coming up on, on Saturday. And we'll talk, I'm sure, a little more about that later on. But you've got some personal familiarity with yeah. the coaching staff and stuff there. Is there just anything you can say about that with yeah, what you've uh, got? Obviously, I don't know. I haven't seen Georgia State play this year. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, obviously, Jonas Hayes is a very good friend of mine. Uh, we worked together at Xavier for shoot four years uh, Danny Peters uh, work, we worked together for one year there at Xavier uh, great dude uh, just good people you know and he's gonna they're gonna do a great job Georgia State great, Georgia State's a great job a great program very prideful um, and Jonas will crush it there so but we but he, that, he can crush it after after Saturday so I, I'll I pull for him every game other than on Saturday you guys beat Akron who's in first place win at Kent State but now you've lost your last two. Consistency remains elusive for you guys. How mm -hmm. frustrating is that for you? Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating just because we know we can compete and play with the top of the teams in our league. So it's just hard to, I guess, stay consistent, like you said. So we just got to keep going at it in practice. I think we just got to uh, understand that we can play with any team that we want. It just kind of – takes us in practice just knowing we can do it and our confidence level and then working hard in practice uh, earlier in the week, just not like taking our foot off the pedal and overlooking any teams. Bryce, right, so you guys started hot from three, hitting six of six in a row, and then there was a couple stretches throughout the game where you couldn't get anything going, mm -hmm. long stretch without any field goals. What changed? Um, I mean, I don't think much changed. We were still getting open ones, I feel like in that first half and even late in the second half, we were getting open open looks from three and some good looks inside. But I think we were just, they were they turned up their physicality a little bit. I think that bothered us a little bit. But overall, I feel like our shot selection was still pretty good throughout the game. We just weren't making them. How tough is it to play out there, just in general or specific to this game after you've picked up a, a fourth foul? Yeah, I mean, I just keep trying to play as hard as I can, so I don't really worry about. I mean, if I foul out, then we got other guys that can step up. I know we got a lot of players that can play uh, the same position I do. So if I foul out, I'm just going to go in there and uh, max out, I guess, with all my effort and stuff. If it happens to be a foul, it happens to be a foul. But I guess uh, they just had to step up at the end, and so. Uh, it looked like as the season has been going on, the, the rebound situation was getting a little bit better, but. Today they had a pretty decided uh, advantage. I think it was about 12 on the boards. Was there anything they were doing, or were they just slashing to the boards and um, finding a, a crease? Yeah, I mean, it was mainly on us. They weren't doing anything we haven't seen before all year. I mean, we just got to know we got to hit our guys, me included. I know I let up a couple offensive rebounds, which I normally don't do. Uh, we just got to find our man whenever the shot goes up and check them and make sure they don't get into the paint and so we can just team rebound. Uh, Nutter and Coit tonight combined for 43. How tough is it to guard those two, and how tough is it to go against those guys when they're hot? Yeah, they're really good. Uh, Coit's really good in ball screens, so we were trying to kind of get it out of his hands as much as possible. And uh, he was still hitting some tough shots and getting to the rim a little bit. But And Nutter, the same thing. He can drive it really hard at the rim and stuff like that. So I feel like we did a pretty good job overall with our defense, but just those two, we just understood that they were going to kind of drive to the rim and not pass much, so we kind of understood that. 